how I do my waves. Um, I've been working on this for a while and trying to figure out how to get it to hold and how to do it with such long hair. So um, today I'm going to show you. I got some great tips and I'm going to try them out. So basically I took something called a styling spray starch. It's by Ion or Eon. It's I-O-N. I got this at Sally's and I find this stuff is amazing. I just lightly spray it through my hair and then I take a wide tooth comb and just comb through to even it out. Right now I have the hair separated so I have all the hair split in two and it just makes it easier to work with. Um, so once again this spray is called Styling Spray Starch by a company called Ion and I find this stuff is really helpful in holding the curls and hopefully ultimately the waves. So, so I'm going to section this one more time so I'm going to leave this piece and I'm just doing this because my hair is so long and I'm going to try and keep the curls and the sections really clean as best I can so that my waves are as clean and defined as possible. So I was just warming up the curling irons to make sure that they're ready to go. So as you can see I've sectioned the hair and then I've also just put an elastic on this one just to keep it more divided so because it can turn into a big crazy mess when you have hair this long. So I'm just going to grab a maybe about an inch size section and I'm using a three-quarter curling iron and what I'm going to do is I'm curling in actually I'm going to curl out and then I'm running it down to the end I'm grabbing that end and I'm curling from the bottom all the way up. I'm going to try and keep it right on the iron. So I'm doing it like this. So I'm just going to hold that for a second. The, the curling iron just got hot so I want to make sure it's putting enough heat in there. Okay, and then I'm going to gently let go like that. As you can see the styling spray is really helping hold that curl and create it. So now I'm going to take the next section and I'm going to go the same way facing out and then I've left a little end so I'm just going to clip that around. Whoops, let's do that again. So take it all the way down to the end. And normally people take their ends and they wrap it around the iron but for today I'm not. I'm going to try and run it all the way down. There we go. I'm just going to make sure that end is curled. So I just grabbed the end and I just made sure it was tucked in there. Okay, so here's the last section. And I'm going to grab that and I'm going to make sure I grab it tight. And then I'm going to let that go and gently just pull the curl out. And as you can see, it held it really well. So I'm going to finish doing this whole side. So I'm going to carefully grab another section, all about an inch wide, facing out. And just slide it down and twirl it. I try to keep all the hair in one place so it doesn't go off the top. And as you know, doing your own hair can be a challenge, so you have to practice, and that's what I'm doing. So hopefully I'm not making any of the actual hairstylists out there cringe. <laughs> okay, that feels hot. The back pieces are just, it feels like a lot longer and more hair, so I try to be really conscious of them. But here we go. So I'm going to split this into... And I'm going to face out. That just helps me grab it. I'm going to make sure I get right to the end. And I'm rolling, rolling. And I've got it quite snug. That's a pretty good one. So I've got it really tight. You can feel it get warm. I'm going to gently let go as I kind of play with the clamp. See, that was quite nice. And then I'm going to grab the very last piece. I'm going to check my end. I'm going to curl. Keep it tight. 
And that one turned out pretty good too. Got it nice and tight on the curling iron and even. All right. Now it's a little bit thicker back here and a little longer, so I'm going to give it a little more heat. Okay, and as you can see, this side is all curled. That's pretty cool. Pretty amazing how it, it held so well. I'm going to gently divide the hair again, how I had it. I'm going to keep them the curls in place. And I'm just going to put a light elastic around these ones, just so um, I keep it sectioned. Because what I'm going to do next, all right. So I'm just letting my wand curl up and I'm going to go back over the curls with this wand in the opposite direction to create the wave. So I'm going to let that heat up and for time's sake I'm going to do it all on one side so you can see and you can see the difference and that's what I had shown in the picture. And so that was the best way for me to like get an understanding as if it worked or not. So and then once I do that, I will do this side. And if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. But I'm going to do the full hat. That's my goal today. So now with the wand, I'm quite clumsy. So I like to wear a glove. And I wear the glove on the hand that's going to wrap the hair. So that's my left hand. And I hold the, the rod with my right when I'm doing my left side. So... As you can see, the hair is still sectioned and holding. And if you have thinner hair, I've been told, you know, you curl it up and you clip it and pin it. Because I have so much volume and body in my hair, my hair is actually naturally curly. I don't necessarily have to do that. But for someone with thinner hair or even shorter hair, you could, once you do the curl, wind it up and then clip it with a pin, something like, like this. This might be too big actually, so you may want to do just small ones. And you can get these in big boxes from Sally's as well, and they're really cheap, they're only a couple bucks. But for me, because my hair is heavy and thick, um, the volume's already there. So, and the solution really helps. It's just like this tiny little detail that just really holds everything. So this should be good and warm now. So I grab the curl, and I'm going to go underneath like I did with the cooling iron. I'm going to start from the top. And I'm going to point down, and I'm grabbing it really tight. And the reason why you want to wear this glove is this rod is hot, so it's very easy to burn yourself. And I have burnt myself quite a few times practicing and dropped it and burnt my shoulder, and so that's not happening. So you can feel it getting hot even with the glove. And then you just let it go, and I like to slide it off. Let's see if you can see that. I know it's quite black. So let's see here. You can see how the curl has gone the opposite way. And it'll make sense once we brush it out. But it's got a nice ripple effect to it. So now I'm going to grab the next one. So everything's already sectioned for you, so this makes it really easy. Just grab any loose hairs. Once again, tightly go around. And I have it at the highest heat setting. Whoops, I just grabbed some hair. So I'm going to try my best to keep this really neat. So I'm going to go back in, get rid of those hairs, twist really tight, point down. And I'm going to try and go all in the same direction with the curling wand. And I've been told that's how you should do it and that you can do variations to make different patterns. But that will be for another time. First, let's get this wave down. So I'm wrapping the end super tight around because I want to make sure I get all of it. But I'm gently going to slide it out. And you can see how it's creating a pattern. I'm going to grab the next section. And see, this is where sectioning this off really helped because it's very easy when you're doing your own hair to get it all mixed up, especially if it's all black. Okay. So once again, we twist. And I'm going around. And I'm just going to... I got this curling wand, I believe, from Walmart. Or it might have been like a drugstore, Rite Aid, but um, it's a Con Air, and it has a different heat settings. I've got it at the highest heat, so one reason is so I don't have to hold it as long. There we go. And then, now I'm going to undo the elastic from the back section, and this has about three curls. So I'm going to carefully grab those sections. Got a bit of a glare on the light, so... Okay. 
flip the rest back, and then it kind of see how it naturally divides, so you can see where your hair is at. And this obviously belongs to another curl, so I'm going to kick that back. And if you make a mistake, no big deal. It's practice. So once again, I'm going to go tight. I'm going to try to get it up to the top. Wrap that around. Try and angle in the same direction. And it's, I can feel it getting hot, so that's my cue to just slide it out. You can see that beautiful rippling starting to happen. Now I've got two more sections here. So grab the next one. And grabbing smaller sections I find easier and creates a little more definition than trying to do big huge hunks of hair. So even if you have long hair, just take your time and section it. I mean no bigger than one inch for what we're trying to do. Mm. Oops, I feel like that one wasn't 100%, so I'm gonna grab it again, because you can do that, it's your hair. Just make sure, there we go. Got a bit of a glare on the laptop. And see how I'm kind of pulling? So I'm gonna pull all that hair back, keep it nice and neat once again, grab this, I'm just gonna give it a nice light twist because I felt like it wasn't exactly perfect. I'm just going to make sure. And then I'm going to smooth it out. And the key is don't overthink it. There we go. I've got some loose strands here, so I'm going to grab that with my next piece, just like that. And then we're going to do this. And I could even divide that further to make it even easier, but I'm just going to go for it. Ooh, okay, and we're going to slowly let that come out. So you can see the difference between both sides. So this is the rough. I'm just going to double check this. I feel like I'm going to split this actually. I feel like it's not 100%. I want to try and make this as best. So we're going to grab this, I'm going to take a smaller section and go around. Let that slide, throw it back. I'm going to grab this section that I feel, to me, is a little straight, and I'm going to redo it. And honestly, I don't think it's going to wreck the hair, I think it's going to help the waves, so the hazards of doing your own hair. Whoops! I'm going to wrap that around. And slide that out. Better. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is gently take the comb, the wide tooth comb, and gently comb through. And you can see that beautiful wave happening. So I think the trick is a wide tooth comb. And you can just run it through. And I still have all this side on one side to make it easier to work with. And I can feel the solution holding the hair and just kind of hardening up. So gently running it through. You can see that beautiful wave. Now I don't love this little piece. So I'm going to throw it over to this side and redo it. It's quite nice. It turned out pretty good. So while that is, while I'm doing the next side, I'm just going to follow the wave. Actually, I need some really big clips. I found these really huge clips at Sally's, once again, and I wanted to grab all my hair and try and emphasize that wave as much as possible. So I'm just following where it dips. I'm just going to put a couple of clips and try and grab all the hair. I mean, you could split your, your hair up and just do it in two, but I'm just going to make this as easy as possible. And then right here, and then, oh, I can do, my hair is really long. Do one more here, 
And I'm going to see if I can sneak one. There we go. One more down here just to kind of keep that, that wave. And then I'm going to take some hairspray and just spray that. I'm going to make sure my ends aren't frizzy, but I'm taking them and just kind of going like that. Nothing gets lost in the mix. And I'm just making sure, put this out a little bit. These waves have keep their shape while I'm doing the other side. Seems kind of crazy, but it'll work. Okay. So that's basically how I created the wave. And now I'm just kind of holding it to set it. Now, so as you can see, the waves did a nice curl. You can see that. And you can just run your comb and catch any ends. And then while this side is setting, making sure that it, we've caught it, I'm going to take something called, this is um, an illuminating palm. So it's like a pomade. And as you can see, it's got like a jelly. So I have really long nails, so I never stick my finger right in. I use my finger like that. And then I just do a little bit, put it in between my hands, put on both sides. And I just run through to smooth down any loose hairs and then just kind of shape it, like mold it. So I've got this beautiful S pattern with the wave. I've got this one little piece that feels like it's sticking out a little bit more, so I'm going to mold it into my wave. And then I just grab all the hair together and just kind of scrunch, but there we go. You can see the catching all these little hairs. Let me fix the bangs a little bit. So I didn't do any of the styling solution on the, the bangs, but the pomade I like to run through because it gives it a little shine. And it's time for a trim. You can see how one side is super sculpted and the other side is still in progress. So wherever I have a little loose hair, I just run it through very gently. But it's holding quite nice, like that's pretty amazing for my length of hair. And then any ends, like if you have really long hair and you feel like your ends are, I just curl them like that. It gives it a nice flows with the pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to take out this side. So this is the final result. And I've added in some waves. And I'll just stand up because I know my hair is really long. But I managed to do it. I feel like this side's a little weak because I actually ended up curling in the wrong direction, but it still worked. I still clipped it to the exact same process and I went back and just curled a few pieces and it still worked. So I guess it just depends how perfect you want it. And there you go. So not bad. And then I got this really cute little hat that I thought would look really cute with it. It's my first beret, so and it's got these cute little brooches. So so I hope you like it, and I hope that video helped a few people, and I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks so much for watching. I know that might have been tedious, some of it, but um, yeah, I think the waves turned out pretty good, and the process wasn't that hard, so... Um, I might do this video again just because I feel like it could go a lot faster or smoother. But if this helped anybody, I that's great. So anyway, thank you. Bye.